Wake up, Samurai! Ricky Summer here, and today I've come back in time to take a look at a small portion of the new Cyberpunk 2077 update. But first, a message from our sponsor. Armor One. Base City's first choice in heavy infantry exo armor. Listen, for a little bit of context, I'm a huge Cyberpunk 2077 fan. I played on PC, I've beaten it three times, I was one of the lucky ones who didn't really see any bugs at all. Just a, a little bit of T-posing here and there, that was it. And we'll, we'll address like the bug situation and stay of the game a little bit towards the end of the video, but this fair warning is going to be like a, a, a gross little selfish video about me pogging out about the new apartment. So the, the new patch has dropped 1.5. Honestly, I, I wasn't keeping my ear to the ground on this one at all, so I only just found out about today. We have four new apartments. I'm only going to show you one, my favorite one so far. Uh, there's Northside in Watson that costs 5,000 eddies. There's Japantown, Westbrook, 15,000. There's the Glen in Hayward, which is what I'm going to show you right here. This place is beautiful. And then there's Corpo Plaza in the city center, and that's 55,000 eddies. So... I've loaded into my last uh, save in my last playthrough and I've purchased the Glen and oh baby. Look, make no mistake. Yes, they've added some, some gameplay uh, meaningfulness, for lack of a better term, to the apartment so you can take a shower and rest and whatnot and get certain buffs and whatnot from that, which is very cool. Um, but like, let's be honest, this is, this is for role playing uh, primarily. And honestly, I'm 100% here for it because that is one of the reasons that I love Cyberpunk so much. It's the world. I think, oh, there's a little bit of freaking out there. Let's see if we can replicate that because, like, I don't want to be, oh, uh, you know what? That was probably as we were going down the step. I may be biased a little bit in favor of Cyberpunk, but I don't want to be like there weren't no bugs at all. Sure. I was just, just lucky I didn't experience any of them. But let's have a look at this. This is, look at this, man. This is what I'm talking about. This, like, this is where I would want to live. Maybe a little bit, it's a little bit cluttered for my taste. I know it's not. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's clean. Look at this. A nice loft space. So I'll show you, how, you know, the. Uh, we'll take the elevator ride down and uh, we'll have a look at, at where this is. Because it is actually in a, in a little building complex. Look, this is beautiful. Look at this lovely detail. The beanbag and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd hang out up up here. That's great. A little bit of workstation action here. This is where I do my streams, edit my videos. Okay, so it looks like we're having a little bit of trouble freaking out on the step there. Noted. But I haven't experienced any T-posing or whatnot. But it's worth noting that my, my buddy Kluger has experienced a couple of visual bugs. Yeah, man. So we should be able to slide on in here. So I am playing on PC. Um, but I'm using a controller just so we can get some smooth angles here. So, Night Corp, so we haven't got, that's interesting. So if you go to your regular apartment, you will have an option here to have a look at other apartments and buy them from your computer, but it looks like maybe that doesn't show up in the new apartments. I wonder if that is an oversight or if that's intended. That being said, the apartments will show up in the map for you to purchase. So for example, uh, here we go, the Japantown apartment is just right there. So you can navigate to there and buy it straight on the spot. Um, anyway, let's let's keep going around here. So look at this fan, the, go the gold spackled TV. Oh, uh, this is like for, for all you Warframe players out there, loving your primes, loving your gold. This is for you. Look at this, the view. Like I, I just feel like I can't do this, do this justice enough. And I'm, I, I know, I know, this is a purely superficial, wanky little, gross little, selfish video about me pogging out about a <laughs> fake apartment, the likes of which I will probably never own, but would deeply love to. Look at this, this is exactly the sort of shit I do too, look at this. You set up some, some gross old amplifiers, a PA system in here, for blasting the dank techno rock. Oh, that's damn, buddy, the pool table. With, with the with the slightly off-brand red because green is too mainstream you got to go for the red the faded red with a nice rum bottle or what is this co co conine co what is that is that a, is that a real substance hang on a poisonous alkaloid found in poison hemlock 
Look, anyway, little bit of modern art over here. Come on, man. How can, how can you not be into this? It's like a legitimate high-class, high-end bar over here. I, buddy, I'd prepare a meal in this space. Look, I'll be honest with you. I feel like the kitchen is a little bit too open and big. I like a little bit of a cozier kitchen. But man, look at that fridge. Look at that gold spackled fridge. <laughs> I don't even like gold that much. But this is so classily ostentatious. That I'm just... I'm just here for it. Ooh, a slightly recessed sink for ergonomics? Come on. You can't tell me that, that you haven't stood at the sink and, and been... Actually, that's the wrong way. I would want the sink higher up because usually I'm like... Uh, hurt my back. Anyway, we got, you know, we got the dumbbells here. We got the boxes for all our Amazon deliveries. You know, I'm ready for it. I'm here. We slide on over to the PC. We got our stash. The server room. Buddy, if I, if I owned this sort of space, you know I would have a server room. And of course, the, the stash, as we've come to expect. Let's go upstairs, because this is, this is where it gets, you know, pretty dank up here. Oh, baby. The full inspection. I'll take it. <laughs> and, on, and only, what was it, 40 grand? Only 40,000 eddies? Buddy, if only. If only an apartment costs that much. So it does It does say that you're renting it, but it is a one-time payment. Anyway, so while we're up here, let's, let's talk a little bit about the functional aspect of the apartments now it's also worth knowing that you have some new color schemes for the the base apartment the default apartment uh but to be honest they're kind of I, I think they're kind of lackluster when it when they mentioned in the patch notes that you could customize the the default apartment i was like yo you can like place things around it's not that deep it's just a a skin swap just a color scheme swap eh, you know it's okay if you're into that sort of thing all right so now when we take a shower we get refreshed and that allows us to heal, to, to regenerate health up to 60% uh, in combat, which is pretty rad. We can go to sleep, which will regenerate health and applies the rested uh, status for one hour. Rested is a plus 20% XP boost, which is incredible. So that's, that will actually <laughs> encourage me to use the apartment. I really like that. And of course we can brew coffee. We can, we can brew coffee? Oh, we gotta find that. I'm a, bit, <laughs> I'm a big coffee snob, so we have to inspect the coffee situation. If it's espresso, I'm here for it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Brew it with real animations. Mm. <laughs> Yo, we did it. I love it. I love that that's here. I love that it's in here. We've got that energized bonus. Actually, you know what? The more I think about the fact that we get legitimate bonuses from doing things in our apartment now, as small and silly as that may be, I really like it. So if you brew coffee, you get the energized buff for one hour and that's a plus 25% max stamina and plus 30% uh, stamina regeneration. Which, you know, makes perfect sense to me. So look at this, man. This is beautiful. I love this whole situation. Look, at you can get the freaking view from the bed. This is either going to be a really creepy place to sleep or a beautiful place to sleep. I wouldn't mind a skylight, but I'm sure we're not on the penthouse here. Um, I, you know what? I'm even, I'm even into the, the higgledy-piggledy uh, uh, you know, clothes rack just in the middle of nowhere. Open plan, baby. I'm here for it. The red converse. I mean, come on. If we're talking about red converse. I mean, buddy, you think you're going to put red converse in a dank open plan swish apartment like this and have me not pog out of my freaking skull? Don't even get me started. All right. And then we'll slide on over here to, hang on. Is this, is this a fish tank? What are you, buddy? A nice water fixture? That's a tank, isn't it? You got fish in there, buddy? Imagine if they added fishing to the game. Mmm, man. Is that a golden toilet seat? Look, this is far too ostentatious for my liking, but I love it. I'm here for it. Shower and whatnot. Shall we, um... <laughs> shall we... Shall we get a clean here? Get a little... <laughs> rubber dub dub baby. Alright, there's our, there's our buff. So for one hour, we will regen up to 60%. And we can also customize our look more. I did we, could we not do that before? I'll be honest, it's been a hot minute. What the since hell? I've... 
Okay. <laughs> Change appearance. There we go. Oh, yeah, we couldn't do this before, huh? So we can change the hairstyle, eye color, eyebrows, eyelash, facial scars, piercings, piercing color, teeth, eye makeup. Okay, so like cheek makeup. So nothing structural. Oh, <laughs> hold up. Yeah, all right. So nothing structural, but stuff that makes sense law-wise. You know, we're not having plastic surgery uh, inside our mirror here. We're just changing our hairstyle and nails and makeup and that sort of stuff. Vintage. And let's slide on down to the lobby here. There's there's more than this going on in the update. I would I would describe the update as having lots of like quality of life stuff. Apparently they've they've rejigged the AI uh, combat AI as well as this like pathing crowds and whatnot. And I feel like I've I've noticed that appreciably just driving around uh, when you hit other cars they will react now instead of just stopping dead unrealistically. They will, well, I mean, it depends, like, depends how passive the public is. But now the, the public seems a, a little bit more uh, active, uh, and they will try to maneuver away from you and, and drive away from you, which is great. Uh, crowds seem to get, m I think, more hysterical when you run them over, um, which is good. So, from what I've seen so far, the world feels a little bit more alive, which is fantastic, which is a criticism of the game originally that, 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 that like, I couldn't deny, yeah. Uh, the game was not in a perfect state. In terms of bugs, like I said, I'm still yet to encounter any. Um, that is not indicative of, you know, what the general public and what most of you will necessarily experience. I'm on PC. I've been lucky. Like I said, my buddy Kluger has been less lucky. He's still got T-posing and whatnot. Um, but, you know, I had fun with the game. At launch, the game is undeniably in a better state now, at least for me. The map is in a is in a, a much better state now. I mean, I didn't really think the map was bad before, but now it's a little clearer. You've got new icons. So something else I want to point out here is the fixes. So previously I was really bummed out with how they implemented fixes. They just felt like they didn't really do anything. You were introduced to them at the start of the game and it felt like that you were actually going to have to rank up with them and there was going to be like a progression for each fixer. But that never really comes to fruition. Make no mistake, they haven't like completely rectified that system, but they've added a little something. So now as you do jobs, presumably within the territory of the fixes, for example, like Regina Jones is very obvious. I need to take out one more Cyber Psycho and then I'm gonna get a little, a little reward. So apparently you get um, a little something from all the fixes except for, was it Mr. Hands, I think, is the one that is excluded. So he remains mysterious, but that's nice. It's just a little extra something. Uh, for you to work towards within the game. I mean, I'm gonna leave a link to the patch notes in the in the comments Like I said, I don't I don't do patch note reviews I'm not gonna go through the whole thing and just like read to you I just wanted to pog out a little bit of that particular apartment and, and share that with you All right guys now it's your turn. Let me know in the comments below the like button. What's your experience with cyberpunk? Did you have fun with it at release or was it in a horrible state for you and have you stuck with it? Have you played it since then? And what do you think of it now if you've had a go with a new patch? All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Be excellent to each other, and I'll see you next time. Ricky Summer, out.